Looks like we got another couple of dolphin here. Sneaking in. You no, know, the rules say that you have to weigh in your fish from the boat that caught it or from our chase boat. And you see this uh, outboard powered sled over here provided by Les Collins and uh, all of our friends at Collins Inc. there in Smithfield. Yamaha Power on the back. Both of them sponsors of the tournament. We're very appreciative to Les and uh, his crew. And this is a 24.3 pound dolphin taking the lead from the adventure here on the skirt puller. You just got to love these boat names, don't you? Chase Taylor, we've seen these guys uh, here at Big Rock Landing before. A very nice 24.3 pound dolphin jumping into the lead there for that $2,000 daily prize that the tournament pays out every day. In the tournament, $1,000 for second place. Watch your toes, George. Same boat here, fellas. And 16.6 pounds. So uh, they'll jump into that first place slot. Same boat here on the skirt puller. Josh Bowen, our angler on that one. Captain Kyle Leggett again. Well, let's hear it for our crew on the skirt puller right now in first place with the Daily Dolphin Division, winning 2000 bucks so far. You know, I'm sure fishing in one of those 60, 70-foot sport fishermen is nice, but the outboards can get it done too, Henry. Nice fish and good eating. Yeah, I guess Henry, Henry were talking about it. Steve just remind me they're, they're bait, too. Blue Marlins love to eat them. Oh, yeah. Of course, now, and we got to talk about, we call them dolphins here. This is not flipper, obviously. And when you see dolphin on the menu, uh, it's probably called mahi, mahi, mahi yeah. dorado. Flipper, but, uh, flipper, great, great flipper, eating fish. Flipper ruined that for the menu. People don't want to be eating flipper. No. <laughs> no, but a great but table fare along. You know, we've seen some Wahoos, Henry, uh, also, and we talk about it. Boy, just great, great table fare if you have a yeah. chance yeah. Uh, at one of these restaurants. And, so, and and listen, when the wind blows the right direction here and the restaurants are cooking in the afternoon, I, I don't know about you, Henry, but it makes me hungry. How many steaks, how you many know, Wahoo steaks can you get out of that 104-pounder yesterday? Plenty. Hey, Randy, <laughs> Randy, did you get some? Did you? They, uh, you know, Randy. didn't hook us up. Yeah, he offered. I just didn't get running down. <laughs> so. I'm to take my <laughs> Some, somebody got some good eating last yeah, night. Yes, so if that you water. do, if you do have a chance and you're in uh, <laughs> one of these great restaurants here on the waterfront in Moorhead City or anywhere in Carter County, you have yeah. a chance to eat some, uh, some fresh dolphin, mahi, dorado, whatever you want to call it. Uh, give it a shot. Wahoo the same way. Don't, don't be intimidated. You'll be happy that you did. Trust me. All right, Carly's keeping us updated here. We just saw that 24.3-pound fish on the skirt puller. Uh, in contention now for the $2,000 daily first prize. The adventure bumped to second there. $1,000, 17.8 pounds. 
And a, just a quick leaderboard check. We saw it yesterday on the J&B, a boat from Beaufort, a 29-and-a-half-pound dolphin, excuse me, a dolphin, a 29-and-a-half-pound dolphin in the lead for $527,000 winner take all on the dolphin. How about that? It is a uh, highly sought after prize. Some of these some of these small boats that you see enter the tournament and enter the largest dolphin category and go out there and have at it. Great way to pick up a couple thousand bucks or you know there is always luck involved in the fishing world. That $527,000 prize awaits somebody who can land and deck that largest dolphin every year. All right, well, the action will continue here. You know, we'll be with you as, uh, as events warrant. I uh, enjoy, of course, a beautiful day here on the Moorhead City waterfront. I think our live stream's back up. Got the nod. That's good. I got something you know, to give away, Tony. We're not immune from technical difficulties as well. Henry. I got a beach towel. Who wants a beach towel? I need some enthusiasm out here. Come on. Who wants a beach towel? All right, I'll try the same thing I tried earlier. Who's got who's having a birthday? Who has you had a birthday? Who has a birthday? You have a birthday? All right, let me say come over here. Come over here. Don't be chicken. All right. Where am I? Right here. <laughs> find you. What? I was trying to find you. <laughs> what is your name? Jace. What is it? Jace. What do you do for a living? I don't really know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> where Where do you live? Um, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Rocky Mountain. I know where that is. All right. Um, how old are you? Set eight. All right. When was your birthday? June the 4th. June what? The 4th. June 4th. I don't know. Do y'all think? I mean, it's a little bit past his birthday, isn't it? I'll tell you what, you want this bracelet? No, you don't want that. You want the beach towel, don't you? All right, I'm going to give you the beach towel. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Come on, huh? This is all I need. That's all you need? <laughs> He's going to take my prize and leave? Here, I'll give your brother the bracelet. You want a bracelet? This is the coolest bracelet ever. Tell everybody at school Michael Jordan gave you that bracelet. They won't know the difference. Wait a minute. Come back over here. No, no, no. You got to. No, no. I want my, I want my beach towel back. I want, we're going to sing happy birthday to you. How about that? What's your name again? I want to get it right. Jace. Chase? Jace. Jace. J-A-C-E. All right. Everybody ready? Happy. Huh? S-E. It's not, not C-E-S. Did I misspell it? I apologize. All right. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to Jace. On three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, June 4th. Happy birthday, dear Chase. Happy birthday to you, you old man, you. All right. Thank you, Jace. Hey, Henry, where's everybody from? I don't know. Huh? What? What? Garner, North Carolina. Garner, North Carolina. Jacksonville, Florida. Really? Jacks oh, I see your Jaguars up there. <laughs> oh, yeah. David Garrard is a good buddy of mine. Is he? Still the best quarterback ever to play. Best quarterback ever to play. I'm telling you, you said that. Uh, where are you from? Kinston. Kinston, North. What's Kinston favorites for? Well, we have the Duck baseball team. The Ducks? You mean the Wood Ducks? The Wood Ducks. Do you go to the games? No, I do not. <laughs> where, where, where are you from? Where he's from. Well, I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. Boston? Boston. Where'd you park your car? In the garage. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> well, welcome to, uh, welcome to Variety Vacation Land. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be here. I wouldn't want to be in Boston today or any day. But anyway, what's, hey. <laughs> what's your name? Amy. Where are you from? Huntersville, North Carolina. That's near Charlotte. That's right. Lake Gaston? Lake I mean, Norman. Lake Norman. That's right. Lake, lake Norman. Norman. Yeah. Do you live on the lake? Uh, No. <laughs> you guys down on vacation? We are. Mm -hmm. Great. Good to have you down here. All right. How about you? You want to talk to me? Huh? Go 
from Illinois. Illinois? That's a long way away. How'd you get here? Did you come by car? Did you come by plane? Did you walk? My daddy drove all the way here. Drove all the way here. <laughs> drove all the way here. Did he drive the speed limit? Mm, yeah. I'm going to say, we got some police officers out all here. Right, Henry, Henry, we got another we fish. Uh, got right. another dolphin hitting the deck here and a wahoo. Beautiful center console docked here at Big Rock Landing. This is a sea hunter, just absolutely beautiful. Center console. How many horsepower? 70 miles an hour worth. This is an 8.7 pound dolphin. Looks like they're gonna weigh in a Wahoo here on the same boat. They're on the wired assets. I think they had an encounter with a blue marlin today, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Matt Nelson, our angler. Nice little dolphin. Little dinner. This Wahoo might do a little something here. It's going to obviously take the lead. Again, $2,000 daily prize for the Wahoos. This one is not going to bump the 104.7 pound Wahoo from the leaderboard, but still could score a daily prize. This is a 20.7 pound Wahoo. Obviously going to jump in the lead here on day three of the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Again, on the wired assets. Boy, Zach Fisher was busy. He was the angler and the captain on this one. That sounds like a fish story to me. But well done, fellas. You know, just from a timing standpoint, again, we were talking about fishing from 9 o'clock until 3 o'clock. You know, boats are 40, 50, 60 miles or more offshore or away from uh, Moorhead City. You know, this is generally about the time, 5.30 or so, two and a half hours later, we do start to see boats arrive back at the dock. Of course, it depends on the weather conditions, the sea conditions. Uh, but boats are right on time coming in. Sounds like it got a little rougher out there this afternoon. It was nice Might and have. calm this morning. Might have. It was, they said you know, we, heard, we heard from the builder's choice, Henry. He said he came across the shoals, went right up, tucked under the beach in 20 feet of water. He said he was running 35 knots up the beach, slick calm on the beach with, yeah. that, with that little northerly wind. Right. He said he hit the shoals at, Oak, at uh, Hatteras to go offshore, and he said it was a different world, but he only had nine miles to go at that point. So uh, he didn't have that protective. Yeah, it makes a, makes a little land a lot barrier. Of difference. Yeah. Of course, he also had 64 feet of Jarrett Bay under him. That helps. So that does help. Guys, maybe let's get a picture of the, uh, the new Moorhead City Police boat out there. Uh, provided in full by the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament as part of our charitable giving back to uh, our community. Tournament has a great partnership with the town of Moorhead and they're uh, some of Moorhead's finest out there engaging a little crowd control for us. We appreciate that. All right, another Dolphin 11.4 pounds on the It's Complicated. Nathan Daltrey, our angler. Sterling Casey, our captain. Not 
going to crack that leaderboard, but uh, hey, you get to come to Big Rock Landing, Henry. Hallowed ground here. You know, what a, what a thrill it's got to be to weigh in anything here at the Big Rock Landing. Some of these guys wait a lot of years to get up here. Yep. Legends made right here. Boy, Henry, look at look at that center console. Wow, that's a beautiful boat. Just beautiful. Yeah, just beautiful. Maybe 1,200 horsepower. That thing will move. Woo. All right, you can see the fleet coming in, running up Bogue Sound, heading home all over the place. So we will patiently await our next arrival here at Big Rock Landing. Our chase boat's out there, got some great video. That's really pretty sweet. I like it. All right, well, we'll be with you. Enjoy yourself here at Big Rock Landing. Plenty of things to do. All of our sponsors are here. Go over and visit them. They've got a great product available. Obviously, make a stop over at the Big Rock store, pick up a hat or a T-shirt, and help support our local charities. We'll be with you here as events unfold. And the scales will be up in another hour and a half until 7 o'clock for Game Fish here in the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
Who's that? Uh, apparently having a birthday today. All right. Henry, Who's Henry and Carly are our singers. Come on, Carly. Come on, Carly. Or, or Nancy. Right, we we could get Nancy. Whose birthday is it? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Whose birthday is it? Well, you have to come up here and be totally embarrassed. It's part of the deal. Are you the, uh, you the birthday boy? Yes, sir. How old are you today? Yeah. I'm doing good. I said, how old are you today? 31. 31. I got underwear older than that. All right. Carly's going to sing. Come up here, Carly. What is, what is your name? Caleb. Caleb. Get over here, Carly. Carly. All right, Carly and I going to sing. Everybody else going to sing happy birthday to Caleb. You ready? And a one, and a two, and a three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caleb. Come on, Carly. Sorry. Happy birthday to you. How old are right. you? No, I'm just kidding. Caleb, I'm happy sure birthday. you weren't expecting that, but happy birthday from all of us here at That's the Big a good Rock birthday Tournament. Pre- all right, so the Donna May moves there into second place with their 23.1 pound dolphin. All right, well, let's hear for the Donna May here as they get ready to take off. They're in second place in the dolphin category, the daily dolphin division today, 23.1 pounds. Randy Gregory going above and beyond here. Give him a little uh, transom cleanup. Way to go, Donna May. And we got another dolphin coming in here. Yeah, we got another dolphin coming in off the Catherine Grace. You can see the Catherine Grace, this light blue hold boat right offshore of the Big Rock Landing. Check out their outrigger. Looks like they've got a uh, Blue Marlin release flag there as well. See that white flag? Blue fish on it over there. Flying upside down, signifying a billfish release today on the Catherine Grace. And a uh, 19.9 pound dolphin to boot. So, you know, always a big day when you can uh, catch a bill fish in the Big Rock tournament and bring something to the scales at the same time. So, Joel's Williams, our angler here, Scott Williams, our captain. Smiles all around. Great day of fishing. Obviously on the Catherine Grace. And we'll get ready to welcome the Desperado here to Big Rock Landing. Out of Oregon Inlet. A lot of our friends right up the beach here make the trip down to Moorhead City every year. And sometimes they walk out of here with some of our money. Happened last year on the widespread. Charter boat from up there came in and Wiped them out here last year. So let's welcome the Desperado here to Big Rock Landing. That's a nice boat. 
All right, Randy says we're getting ready to see something. What are we getting ready to see, Randy? We are going to see a yellowfin tuna. Oh, nice. Talk about another uh, great dinner, Henry. And this is a uh, very nice yellowfin tuna specimen. We do not see many yellowfin tunas. First uh, one this week, right? At the scales. First one I have seen in a while. Is that very difficult to catch? Picky, you know, picky eaters. Is that uh, where the ahi tuna comes from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you see tuna. ahi tuna, yeah, this is going to be yellowfin tuna, what you see on the menu, what you see at your favorite sushi restaurant. My wife makes it all the time. I love yeah, ahi yeah. tuna with a little yeah. ginger sauce. Yep. Teriyaki. Well, there's uh, plenty wow. of sushi here, Henry. How about this? <laughs> Look at this. Woo. Very nicely done. Randy Gregory's getting a workout. Yeah, man. How about it? What a beautiful fish. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Boy, that is a beautiful yellowfin tuna. Again, we do not see many of these here. And obviously... Uh, I want some of that. Taking the lead here on the daily tuna prize and the weekly tuna prize. And here we've got we've got family members that have come down to have their picture taken with the crew. And of course we will accommodate them the very best that we can. This also might be a good one to uh, ask our scientist about uh, what it had for lunch. How about this? 131.2 pounds on the yellowfin tuna caught on the Desperado. Hey, Henry, a lady angler again. That seems to be one of our themes this week. Crystal Johnston brought her gotta, fan club with her. I got to hear the story of how yep. that fish came on board. Gray Blunt, our captain here. How about is, it? 131.2 pounds. Where is Greg Blunt? The lady angler to boot. Just so you know, we've had uh, two lady anglers with Blue Marlin this week on Monday. So the gals uh, can do it just as good as the guys can. No question about it. Henry, we need you to sneak in there and talk to Crystal when she gets a minute. Crystal! <laughs> <laughs> 
And, of course, it's great to see uh, families show up here to meet their family members at the dock. The Big Rock is nothing if not a family event. And we're delighted to have, uh, have all the families come up here and enjoy, uh, enjoy their visits here to Big Rock Landing. Miss Nikki Blunt, Nikki Blunt, I believe you had a birthday this week. I heard you had a birthday this week. Happy birthday. Oh, boy. Crystal, come over here. Come over here, Crystal. All right, folks, this is the angler, lady angler, Crystal Johnston. Let's hear it for her. She caught this beautiful fish. Hey, Crystal. Hi. Tell us about catching this beautiful yellowfin tuna. It was tough. Now, you got to tell me more than that. It was. We know it was tough. How long did it take to reel it in? Um, 45 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Well, tell us the story. How did it feel when it hit? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it nearly pulled you out of the boat? Yeah. Yeah, I felt like my arm was going to fall off. Did it? Yeah. Did these guys help you any, or were they just yelling at you? They were just yelling the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. What was Greg Blunt saying to you? <laughs> he was he was just cheering on. He was. Greg, get over here. He was perfect. Yeah. I know this guy. Greg Blunt's the captain. She's not much of a talker, but I know you can talk. What's that? Uh, what do you want to ask? Let's, let's hear the story about when, she, when this fish hit. She, uh, well, the... Yeah, we we were uh, we had just gotten through. Uh, we had a blue one on for I don't know maybe 45 minutes. Lost that, so we were a little disappointed. And then uh, this fish hit and uh, took off some took off some line. And uh, Crystal did a great job of winding it to the boat. And we really didn't know what it was because it never showed itself or did anything. And of course, when we got it up on the leader, it turned out to be. So you didn't know what it was till it got to the boat. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Were you surprised? Uh, yeah. You don't catch a lot of those, right? Blue marlin are more common around here than yellowfin. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. 131.2 pounds. Crystal Johnson, the angler, the captain, Gray Blunt. Let's hear it for the Desperado. Way to go, man. Congratulations. Congratulations, Crystal. That's great. They said, they said they'll be back. They'll be back. And they say the next one's going to be blue. That's a great fish. Hey, here's the other question. Can we have ahi tuna tonight? So every year we're pleased to be joined by uh, some scientists, our local scientists from the uh, CMAS Center here at NC State University. 
and uh, they uh, examined the stomach contents of all our all of our game fish. And uh, Dr. Paul Rudershausen has uh, graciously agreed to let us come over there as they um, look at the stomach contents here on this one. So uh, we'll uh, slide over there here in a minute, maybe, and take a look and see what's uh, see what's inside. Be a nice appetizer video right here before dinner. So uh, at least I thought we were going to. Well, as promised, let's go look at the uh, contents of the stomach of this yellowfin tuna. Maybe get uh, Dr. Paul here to tell us what's inside here in a minute. It's a good thing this isn't smell-o-vision. So as advertised, Tommy, uh, this is a mesopelagic predator in the Gulf Stream, and uh, Looks like we got a couple cephalopods here, um, and these are a couple of squids so far that we got in the diet. Uh, Dr. Brendan Rundy to my left uh, pulled out of the stomach, and we're going to open up the rest of it. But these are the couple of uh, prey items so far that fell out of the stomach, and we're, uh, the uh, mystery is to be continued here in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, gotcha. We haven't seen any squids yet as stomach contents, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, lots of seaweed, little crabs, things of that nature. Um, bullet mackerels and uh, dolphins inside the stomach of other dolphins but this is uh, I think the first what do you call them in, in, in Latin cephalopods yeah we call them squids calamari Well, let's say congratulations to the crew of the Desperado, a beautiful yellowfin tuna here. Captain Gray Blunt and crew. Very well done with a nice yellowfin tuna taking, of course, the lead on day three in the yellowfin tuna game fish category. 
of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Great going, guys. Mystery fish, huh? Mystery fish. How about that? Hard to say. Looks like it might have been black. Yeah, we've we've got a, a mystery fish in here uh, for stomach contents. That's right. Yeah, some sort of unidentified animal here, and uh, you can see if you're looking at the screen right now that has a fairly uh, long dorsal fin in terms of the length of the the um, dorsal fin rays. This could be a midwater column, like a like a bristle mouth or something like that. You know, there are a lot of these little fish that are that are very difficult to identify. So we're taking a couple of photos. We may retain this individual specimen and uh, take it back to the lab and um, try to figure out exactly what it is. Perfect. Thanks for uh, your scientific insight. It's always a pleasure coming over here and visiting you guys. And of course, we thank you for all your efforts here every year at the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. So let's welcome the lady Diane here to Big Rock Landing. The lady Diane out of out of right here in Beaufort. You know probably everything about this boat and everybody on it. Henry, this used to be a small town. <laughs> used to know everybody in town. Not the case anymore. They obviously had a good day of fishing. You can look up in that outrigger, see a uh, blue marlin flag upside down, signifying a blue marlin release. Classic Bertram sport fishing yacht here. That distinctive step down and distinctive uh, eyebrow. Looks like they're going to weigh in a nice wahoo. Henry, another dog on the boat. I mean, we've seen lots of pets on boats this week well there's your uh, that's a nice fish <laughs> there's a very nice wahoo we got to check that leaderboard 20.7 pounds earlier on the wired assets uh, this is going to eclipse that take the lead for that $2,000 daily prize it's not going to beat the 104 pounder in the lead. Let's see what we got here. This is a 54.8 pound Wahoo, a very nice Wahoo again. On the Lady Diane, capping off a great day of fishing, a Blue Marlin release, taking the lead in the daily division. And Henry, wouldn't you know it, another lady angler. Yeah. 
And thank goodness Carly's here to remind me that this fish not only is uh, in second place, I mean, excuse me, in first place in the daily Wahoo division, but has moved into second place in the overall Wahoo division. Bumping out the rare breed with its 46.9 pound Wahoo caught, uh, I think that was yesterday. But so a very worthwhile trip to Big Rock Landing today. And they're gonna slide a dolphin in here too. Our big dolphin today on the skirt puller, 24.3 pounds. And this is a 19.4 pound dolphin on the Lady Diane. And the, the best question of the week so far, the scientist was taking the Wahoo over there to uh, their, their science tent. And one of the crew members says, do we get it back? They're, they're uh, smart boys, nice dinner there. Very nice Wahoo. And a nice dolphin to boot to go along with that blue marlin release. Great day of fishing on the Lady Diane here.
Okay, well, let's say uh, goodbye to the Lady Diane for today. Maybe we'll see him back soon here at Big Rock Landing. Very nicely done today. A very nice 54.8-pound wahoo, and here comes another dolphin. Just check that leaderboard here. Uh, 23.1 pounds uh, today. On the Donna May, you just saw it, the skirt puller earlier today, 24.3 for a leaderboard check there. Those are the numbers you're looking for on this particular fish. Uh, 29 and a half pounds, again, is our leader. And this is a 24.6 pound dolphin. Gonna move into that first place slot today, caught on the wasabi. How much was it? Painted appropriately, uh, I guess, wasabi green over there. You see it right over there to the southwest offshore of the uh, Big Rock Landing here. Robert McDonald, our angler, Corbett Johnson, of course, the captain of the Wasabi. This is your new daily leader at 24.6 pounds. Potentially worth a couple thousand bucks. Why not? Henry, we got a nice crowd here today. It's great to see. Where is everybody from? Yell it out. North Carolina. I know where that is. I'm getting short on my prize packages here. It's your birthday? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. All right, what do you want? Do you want a beach bag? You do? Okay. Are you doing a live there? I got some sunscreen. I got some this. I got some that. So last year, what, is, what is your name? Lori. Lori, last year what? Last year, it was my birthday, and I got my picture, or my, I got back to touch a fish that won second place. Well, you, you, we don't give prizes two years in a row. No, no, no you don't get it two years in a row. I did not get a prize last year. I just got All a picture right. back. Now, where are you from? Monroe, North Carolina. You, you got that uh, Jarrett Bay hat on? I do. I love it. Yeah. You're from Monroe? Nicola Ultra. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got she's covered all the sponsors. Covered all the sponsors. This is our model. This is the Big Rock model right here. That's right. And you're from Monroe? Monroe, North Carolina. All right. So I teach at South Piedmont Community College, which is number fifty eight of the community colleges in North Carolina. The baby. Number fifty eight? You're not proud of that, are you? I am proud of that. Oh, okay. What's your name again? <laughs> Lori. All right, everybody can sing happy birthday to Laura. You ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. How old are you? Don't, don't answer. That's all right. Now, Henry. I'm 58. 58? You are not. You, well, you're the best looking 58 I've Thank ever you. seen. Thank you. Enjoy your beach bag and your prizes. All right, Lori. All right.
We got a fish, or you want to do something with Steve? Uh, find out where everybody else is from. Come over here. All right, got, Steve, bring your shirt. We've heard a few. Uh, All right. Let's see who's here. All right. Where are you guys from? Lewisburg. Lewisburg, home of Lewisburg College. You get y'all been shopping at a big rock store? Oh yeah, a couple times already. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody here needs to go over before you leave and buy something in the big rock store. It helps to build the uh, war chest of money that's given away. You know the money's given away? Over seven and a half million dollars has been given to local charities. Isn't that cool? All right, where are you guys from? Goldsboro. Goldsboro, Wayne County. All right, good to see you. Y'all having fun? Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Did I talk to you already? Yeah, Mom. Oh, you're the, oh, that's Jace. Jace claimed to have a birthday, but then we find out it was a little early on the birthday. You got another birthday? Yeah, come on. You got a Margaritaville shirt on? Hey, how y'all doing? Good. Where are you guys from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Wisconsin? You get the home of the cheese heads? Yeah, I work for Sir General. Oh, do you really? So tell me what you guys, you guys vacationing down here on the coast? Family. You love it down here? Beautiful. I don't want to go back. Your wife doesn't want to talk. She's she's inching away. She's inching. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. I'm going to totally embarrass you. Not really. What's your name? Sherry. Sherry. And you're from Wisconsin? Yes. You guys like North Carolina? Yes. Has it gotten into, has it gotten under 50 or above 50 yet in Wisconsin at night? It was 58 yesterday. 58, wow, 58. We hadn't seen 58 in a while down here, but anyway. Take some back with us. Some. <laughs> well, hey, it's good to have you guys here. We, we spoke earlier. That's right. We spoke, let me get the man with the pirate hat on. Come on up here, come on, come on, come on. You, are you shaking your head? You don't want to be on? Oh, come on, I don't bite. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia. You're a pretty girl, Olivia. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. Where? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Chatham County, North Carolina. That's good. Do you like coming to the beach? Yes. Who's this guy with you here with that East Carolina pirate hat on? You don't know who he is? Security. Police. You don't know who he is? We have a breaking news story. Hey, you got the news guys over here. Watlington. This guy, this little girl doesn't know who this man is that's with her. <laughs> who is he? My grandfather. You're a grandfather. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> the police were on the way. All right. Well, good to see you. Okay. All right. This lady says she wants to be on. Good afternoon. His birthday is Friday. So give Friday? Yes. Your birthday's Friday? Yes, sir. Should I go back and look for something in the birthday bag for you? Ooh, that might be nice. Where are y'all from? Zebulon. Zebulon. Zebulon, Wake County. Wake County. All right, I'll go back and see what I can find. What's your name? Ray Davis. Ray Davis and? Tracy. Tracy what? Is it Tracy Davis? Yeah. Does his wife know that you're here? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I'll try to find something for you. Happy birthday. All right, Tommy, we got another fish coming in. I believe so, Henry. I think this is I think this is the ocean stinger. Yep, we saw them yesterday as I recall. They're gonna make another appearance here at Big Rock Landing. Great video shot there of the bow. from our chase boat provided by Collins Inc. with the Yamaha outboard power. Again, we want to thank Les and all of his crew up there in Smithfield for providing a uh, chase boat or two for us this week. We put them to work. On Monday, boy, they really earned their money. We were busy around here on Monday. Beautiful day today, nice day. Right steady at the scales. So let's welcome the Ocean Stinger back here to Big Rock Landing. Yes, sir. Good to see him back. Check that leaderboard real quick, too.
smallest dolphin for the day, 24.3 on the skirt puller, the wasabi. You saw it just a minute ago, 24.6 pounds. Of course, the Lady Diane decked a very nice Wahoo, 54.8 pounds for today. Another nice dolphin here. There you go. Good girl. Another Lady Angler, perhaps. And checking that leaderboard, the winner-take-all dolphin uh, leader thus far during the week, 29 and a half pounds. Again, in contention for that 527,000 first prize. Wow. This is a husband-wife-captain-mate team, we're told. All right, 20.2 pounds on this dolphin. Nicely done. Nick Pope, our angler here. Again, we saw these guys yesterday, I believe. Jesse Golick, uh, our captain. Not quite going to bump the skirt puller there at 24.3. But you never know. Bookie and dolphins looks like here. Beautiful fish. 20.1. We got it. A little matching pair. What do, what do they call it? A brace? A brace of dolphins? Just right, 20.1 pounds on this one, on the Ocean Stinger. Sam Warwick, our angler here. Very nicely done, captain and crew of the Ocean Stinger. Yeah, come on up, have some pictures made. Might as well. You know, again, uh, what a great setting this is. American flags flying. Nice crowd here. Beautiful afternoon. Breeze feels great. Why not? Let's uh, commemorate our trip here. That's a bigger big dolphin rock he's landing right with, there. Uh, with some great photos. You're looking good. Look at those American flags. Great, great picture here. Let's hear it for our uh, crew on the Ocean Stinger. Very nicely done. Two very nice dolphins there. Legendary charter boat from the Moorhead City waterfront just offshore, the Offshore 3. Looks like uh, the chase boat's going to pick up something there. Pay us a quick visit. You can see the video on the big screen over here. Oh, Henry. It's like a, is that a dolphin and a wahoo? Uh, dolphin and a wahoo. You might be looking at something here. we got to go check that's that a, leaderboard again. That's a significant-looking wahoo right there.
It's like a big dolphin coming to the scales. Yeah, I was just checking, Henry, to make sure that the uh, offshore three was entered in the winner-take-all dolphin, and they are. That's a big one. So we need to we need to check that leaderboard here because I think this is going to be close. 29 and a half pounds, our leader in the winner-take-all division, that $527,000 prize. And the Wahoo. We got a Wahoo here uh, that 20.7 right yeah. now. That's not going to do it, I don't think. No. It's a nice fish, but it doesn't look like it's 104 pounds. But checking that leaderboard, 24.3 is our smallest dolphin today. 24.6 in the lead today. And 29 and a half is the uh, big dolphin winner for the week so far. Let's see. All right, let's see. Is this dolphin bigger than 29.5? Yep, 27.7 pound dolphin. Not quite going to bump the J&B out, but does jump into the lead there for the largest dolphin we've seen today. Off the legendary offshore three, Charles Stewart, our angler. Jafford Tyler, our captain there. Nice fish, guys. Just a couple of pounds short of the biggest one we've seen this week. And now we're going to uh, see about this Wahoo. Again, we had a Wahoo weighed in yesterday on the speculator, 104.7 pounds. And um, this one doesn't look like it's going to get it. It's a nice fish, but I can tell from the size of this one versus the size of the one we saw yesterday, that's not going to get it. No, that's not, that's not going to weigh 104 pounds. No, it is not. But again, can't can't stress enough uh, the quality of the of the table fare here. Fourteen point nine pound Wahoo on the offshore three. Wow! Boy, the lady anglers are getting it done, Henry. Yeah. Yes, sir. Brandy Tyler. Brandy Tyler. Let's hear it for Brandy. Yeah. Hey, let's let's hear it for the ladies that have done such a great job this week. Very nicely done. Is that yeah. a husband and wife team? Nice pair of fish here. <laughs> George says, don't tell her husband. Good-looking dolphin, nice wahoo. George, I think that is her husband. <laughs> Jumps into the lead there, 27.7 pounds. Very nicely done. <laughs> Good going, offshore three. Great job. Nice boat handling job, too. I was going to say, he knows what he's doing. That's got a bit of current that, coming that would through be nerve wracking to back that thing in. These guys, nothing for them. Where's Mike Thompson when we need him? Tell us some stories about the offshore three. As this <laughs> is uh, this is one of the legendary charter boats here from the Moorhead City waterfront. No telling how many blue marlins have been caught on that boat right there. Built right here in uh, Carter County in Marshallburg by Buddy Harris. It's the classic Carolina sport fishing boat right there. Still going strong after all these years. If we know how to do one thing here, it's build a nice, quality, seaworthy boat. And that's a great example of it right there. Right from the, from the glory days of uh, charter boating, Henry. That's a pretty boat.
Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Let's get some pictures here. Yeah, this is your daily leader. Again, 27.7 pounds. Looks like we're going to regroup and get the whole crew up here. Why not? Yeah, we're, we're basically going to start over here. Let's do it again. If we didn't weigh it again, they might have lost a little weight. Since his stomach is gone. There you go, your entire crew here off the offshore three. Today's leader in the dolphin category, 27.7 pounds. There you go. Let them hear it. Why not? All right, we'll try it again here. <laughs> there you go. Great job. Great job. Obviously, crew having a good time. Why not? They've been with each other since about four o'clock this morning well done there on the offshore three that's your leader for today in the dolphin category 27.7 pounds All right, let's give away another uh, shirt. We got to have a kid size. We got a kid size shirt. Kid size shirt. You already got yours for the day. You're getting nothing else. I already gave you something. All right. Here's it. All right, we got. All right, hang on. This is Mr. Steve Goying. That was close. Henry, Go you're going to get it right Goyum. here. Goyom. Steve Goyom. Henry, Steve. slide over here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> You, oh, you haven't been over okay. here. Hey, you know, right. I hate to interrupt you, but. All right. Look, Tommy's the boss. If he says come over here, I got like 18 kids mad at me now, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we hadn't been to this side yet. Come over here. Man, we're sneaking Slide in the back in door Slide over here. Slide in here. Slide in here. Come on. Come on. All right. Don't step, don't step on Tommy's computer. Come right over here. Come right here so the TV cameras can see you. Right there. All right. What's your name? Hunter. What? Hunter. Hunter what? Gomez. Huh? Hunter Gomez. Huh? Gomez. Gomez. Hunter Gomez. I like your hat. How old are you? Six. Six years old. I think this shirt might fit you. Now, Mr. Steve has a shirt here. Mr. Steve is the artist that, that did the logo. Can you guys see the logo on the back of my shirt? This is the official Big Rock Art logo. And this gentleman right here painted it. Can you paint? Paint? What? Can you draw? Yes. Do you like to draw? Look at my shirt. You think you could draw that? No. Huh? No. Well, he's got a shirt for you right here that's got the logo on it. Look at that. That's uh, Steve Goyon. All right, look over there. All right, what do you say to Mr. Steve? Thank you. There you go. What do you say to all these other kids that wanted the shirt? Tough luck. Okay. There you go. Hey, we have more shirts to give away this week. You have to come right. back every and, day. You never know. Hey, Henry, we're going to go look over here at uh, some more some more stomach contents here. We we apparently got some interesting things to look at. Aha! Bait. That's right, Tommy. We got a, uh, you're blocking the sunlight. I hope the cameraman can uh, get a good shot there. 
we got a looks like a large maybe a select ballyhoo right here uh, this is the most common bait for trolling for dolphin and wahoo i suspect some of the boats uh, that are fishing the tournament are using ballyhoo for the blue marlin as well uh, this one has a hook still in it going through the lower jaw uh, and the upper jaw here and this is a circle hook uh, and so it's likely that this uh, bait, which we pulled out of the stomach of a mahi, uh, was the bait that caught the fish that they then weighed in. So they simply cut the line, uh, and when we received the fish, the bait was still in it, um, which you could ask the weighmaster. Perfectly legal uh, as far as weight goes. Uh, but this is interesting just because it's a very intact uh, bait. I mean, this is, this is good enough that I would take this home and fish it tomorrow on my boat. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Brandon brought this up. This is a great way to look at the rules in action. Um, the rules are very specific. If you use a natural bait, meaning something like a ballyhoo, it has to be on a circle hook. Uh, the traditional method for fishing is a J hook in a ballyhoo here uh, in North Carolina. Uh, but we've seen this in tournaments and, of course, around the world in a lot of places. Uh, the circle hook is uh, is the preferred method. Tell us tell us about the circle hook. It's it's effective. It catches great and and it's uh, uh, easy to unhook. A lot of a lot of times it's not swallowed. I think, but in this case it was. What's going on? Yeah, that's right, Tommy. So I'll just point out uh, if we're getting a good shot of this hook on the TV. It's called a circle hook because, of course, the shape looks like a circle. But the crucial component here is that the tip of the hook is actually pointed back towards the shank of the hook, so it's perpendicular. In a J-hook, most of the hook would have the same exact shape, but that tip, that point, would continue parallel or almost parallel uh, to the shank of the hook. And because of the, the turn, this last turn in that point, it reduces the propensity of this uh, type of hook to be swallowed or hook the gut uh, material um, of, of the predator uh, by quite a bit. Uh, now, sometimes, of course, as you mentioned, they still do manage to get it down uh, in the gut. Although I'll point out that while the bait of this fish was in the gut, uh, the hook was not penetrating the wall of the stomach or, as far as I could tell, any other uh, visceral material there. So it could have been uh, that this fish would have survived if they had cut the line and released it uh, because that hook was not penetrating any of the vital organs. A couple of things you mentioned. This is a very fresh ballyhoo, clear eyes. Um, this has not been, this was not in the water very long before it was eaten, um, I think, obviously. Um, tell us what would, what might have happened to this hook in the stomach of this particular dolphin? Would it have dissolved eventually or passed? That's a good question. So the stomachs of fish, just like the stomachs of humans and, and most other animals, are very, very acidic. I can't tell you whether this is a stainless steel uh, hook. I'm not quite sure. If it's not a stainless steel hook, uh, if left in the stomach, it would likely dissolve. Um, it wouldn't. The animal would not be able to pass the fish, so it would pro or, excuse me pass the hook. So it would probably be retained in the stomach for a week or two, uh, and the fish would probably not suffer any negative consequences. It would just oxidize, and then uh, the rust would be excreted uh, along with the diet material over the course of some time. If it was a stainless steel hook. It might stay in there for a lot longer, uh, although it probably would not have a serious negative consequence um, even still. Again, another positive reason, uh, an aspect of the use of circle hooks. So thanks for the science and fishing lesson, too. Uh, fascinating, as always, uh, from our friends at NC State University and the CMAS Center right here in Moorhead City. Great, uh, great science afternoon. Thank you, guys.
Well, it looks like we're going to squeeze in one more dolphin today here on the Alley Cat. 5.6 pounds, Dick Bolton, our angler. Jason Temple, our captain, coming in to have that picture taken here at Big Rock Landing with the American flags flying. What a beautiful location, a beautiful day. Hallowed ground here on the waterfront of Moorhead City, North Carolina as day three of the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament comes to a close. And the alley cat looks like it's sitting off the, uh, off the scales there. I think that's right. Well, just when you think we might be done for the day, looks like we got going to be paid another visit here by our chase boat. Again, the uh, the scales will be open until seven o'clock for game fish. Obviously, no more no more blue marlins coming through the scales today. But in the event that it were the case. We would be here with you until uh, that last blue marlin is weighed in. No, uh, no time limit on, on blue marlins. Okay, we're going to sneak in another dolphin here and another wahoo, and let's check that. Wahoo leaderboard, our second place fish for the day, 20.7 pounds. George, pull on those scales a little bit. This is a 3.8 pound dolphin today. Let's see who, who's our boat here, George. Good looking little Wahoo on the real relentless. Chris Drum, our angler, Jeff Watts and our captain. Gets to make a visit to Big Rock Landing one way or the other. We're glad to see him. Thank you, Chris. Let's see, just checking that, that uh, Wahoo again today. 20.7 is, uh, is the second place Wahoo. Uh, another beautiful center console boat. Looks like a sea hunter. Off there, Big Rock Landing. All right, and let's see what the Wahoo is here. Again, we're looking for 20.7 to break into second place here. And this one's not quite gonna do it at 16.2 pounds. But again, uh, it's going to make for a nice dinner, I can tell you that. Ethan Watson, our angler here. Again, on the real relentless, Jeff Watson, our captain. Very well done, fellas. Thank you for visiting us here at Big Rock Landing.
Nice job. Smiles all, the, all around here. Again, beautiful setting, beautiful afternoon. One of the most important spots in the tournament sport fishing world right here at Big Rock Landing. Okay, folks, we'll stay with us here a few more minutes. We'll probably uh, be wrapping up our coverage here as day three of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament comes to a close. Scales open just a few more minutes. Don't really see anything on the horizon. We might just wrap it up here. Pork chops await, and I need to be fed. looking right down if you need to. All right, well, welcome back here as we uh, go to a little wrap-up here on day three of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Uh, Curtis has left me. Henry's left me. But that doesn't mean that we're just settling for Carly Sharp. We've got, uh, we've got a superstar here really good. joining us. Uh, Carly Sharp joining us. Carly is the director of the KWLA tournament for the Big Rock organization and the uh, director for the Big Rock Kids tournament that's coming up in July. So uh, always a pleasure to have Carly with us. Um, Thank Carly, you, Tommy. Yeah, the highlight of the day, I think for me, there were two. Um, the, uh, the tuna on the Desperado, we don't see too many of those. And boy, what a tuna, 131.2 pounds. That was impressive. I mean, I thought nothing would beat the 104 pounder we saw from the speculator yesterday, but Desperado came in and proved us wrong. Yep, and and I have seen in my 30 some odd years on the tournament board, bigger tunas than that, uh, 160 pounds or so. So uh, probably not a tournament record. Although I think the speculator's 104-pound Wahoo from yesterday is a tournament record, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the other highlight today was having um, having our Big Rock Big Hero on the Builder's Choice. Absolutely. That was one for the books. I mean, I think in tournament history that's only happened twice 
with a Big Rock Big Hero boating a blue marlin while they're out yeah. there fishing in the tournament. So we were very, very appreciative for Salt Life for presenting that. And of course, the crew on the Builder's Choice for having yep. our hero, Matthew. That is a once in a lifetime yep. opportunity. No doubt. No doubt. So uh, let's kind of look through the, uh, the competition today. Uh, new leader uh, for the, for the um, well, of course, we got new leaders on the daily prizes. The Offshore Three, that legendary charter boat from here in Moorhead. Uh, drops a 27.7 pound dolphin uh, besting the wasabi today uh, 24.6 pounds it looks like uh, very nice day on the lady diane uh, blue marlin release another dolphin a nice wahoo 54.8 pounds uh, again it's, it is a few minutes before seven uh, but we don't really see anything uh, happening too much. So Lady yeah. Diane probably well, going to pick up a couple thousand bucks. Yeah, absolutely. And while we're talking about Lady Diane, the lady angler for that fish was actually Lauren Good from Hatteras Yachts, one of our sponsors. So oh, we're perfect. really excited to see, see a know, friendly face around here. Carly knows all these things. It's great <laughs> to have her with all the little insight that makes uh, that makes the Big Rock what it is. Uh, second place here for the day, uh, Wired Assets. Looks like they're going to pick up about a thousand bucks. Uh, for a second place Wahoo. Uh, story of the uh, week so far remains the Mercenaria. Of course, Carla, we saw him win the Level 5 Fabulous Fisherman's Prize on Monday, uh, cashing a check for $777,000. If that Incredible. fish hold that 572 pound blue marlin holds up, uh, they add another $2.7 million to it. Carly, can you read that number at the top? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, good gracious. Three million four hundred eighty-nine thousand eight hundred thirteen smackaroni. Yeah, by far a Big Rock tournament record, and uh, I boy, think an industry record. I haven't a, seen any other tournament pay out for a top blue marlin that a, much what money. What a number that would be! Yeah. Uh, we saw the wall hanger, of course, five fifty-six point four pounds, four hundred twenty-six thousand dollars. They're currently in second place. Uh, the high yield, 536.8, and third place, $283,525. And I will say, unofficially, uh, we've got some uh, polygraph testing to do, perhaps, Carly, and Absolutely. that'll start taking place probably tomorrow um, if some haven't already been done. Uh, we had course, a, oops. Go ahead, go right ahead, please. We had a lot of action offshore today, a lot of fish released, um, and of course, just one brought in with the builder's choice. There were 34 blue marlin released today, so that was pretty hot for the 233 boats fishing today. We had five sailfish and 11 white marlin. Let's see who's in the lead for the non sonar division. We've got Royal Flush, a 66-foot Paul man in the lead with two Blue Marlin releases today. So congratulations to them. They're probably going to take home around $40,000 today for yep. that. And, of course, all of that is unofficial until their Blue Marlin releases are verified. And then lastly, we have in the total release division the Streamweaver in first place for the day with the... 800 points, two blue marlin releases, and I will say something very special about the Streamweaver. They deployed one of the IGFA satellite tags today. Oh, so that fish that they released today that's not only earning them close to $40,000, that fish has a tag on it that's going to stick with the fish for 240 days, and then that data will be sent to researchers at Stanford University for interpretation and important conservation studies. So we're really excited to yeah, say we, that that we tag got out. We heard from the IGFA out. yesterday that one of those uh, fish traveled the full, the, the tag stayed in the full 240 days, and it went, off, uh, I mean, uh, off all the, the way up north, Africa. all the way back down across the Atlantic Ocean to the coast of Africa. It's Wh incredible. What a trip. Yeah. yeah wow. Um, to me, Carly, the, uh, the the big thing that stands out on, on prize money here is that big dolphin. Uh, my friends on the J&B, uh, my advice is don't spend that $527,000 <laughs> just yet. Um, even though that is a very nice 29 and a half pound dolphin, uh, the big dolphin has been 45 plus pounds, 50, yep, and the 60, tournament. some cases 70 pounds, yeah. I think. We had a junior uh, angler seen. one year weigh in a 70 pound fish, yeah, and so, they took home a pretty penny for that one. You know, the crowd on the JMB, great, great group of fishermen, long time participants in the tournament, but don't spend that $527,000 just yet. So. All right, well, Carly, who knows what we'll get tomorrow. Uh, the crews are making decisions. Uh, lay days come into play. Weather comes into play. Uh, patches of water and bait offshore come into play. 
Absolutely. Uh, so we will see. Uh, we're halfway through. I know. It's it's crazy wow. how fast time has gone by, but we are so appreciative for everyone tuning in and coming out to the scales. And tomorrow, for all the local people and the people tuning in, that it's just a short hour drive or so to get down here to Moorhead City, come check us out for a free tie-dye event for kids starting at 10 a.m., and that's presented by Albemarle Boats. So come on down here, bring your kids, get a T-shirt, tie-dye right here at Big Rock Landing under the large white we tent. Did four or five hundred t-shirts last year. They ran out they and ran had to go buy three more. Three or four times. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it would be great to, for, uh, for you to come visit us here during the day tomorrow uh, right here at Big Rock Landing. So, Carly, it's time for me to be fed. Pork chop <laughs> dinner's on the uh, menu tonight. One of the great events uh, that happens every year during the Big Rock Tournament. So, as we wrap things up, uh, story of the week so far, Mercenaria hanging in there first place 572.6 pound blue marlin almost three and a half million dollars almost three and a half million dollars all right incredible carly thanks for helping me out here this afternoon thank you for uh for watching us on big rock tv all around the world and for those of you who joined us here on the moorhead city waterfront we're very grateful enjoy your evening here we will be back with you tomorrow no later than three o'clock as day four begins in the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We'll see you guys tomorrow.